and using save or update also you can save your record using save or update also you can save your record here instead of using this persist you can go through save or update also here the benefit with this save or update is if you go through save or update method let's say already if you have one record here already if you have one triple one abc abc at gmail.com record if you have here again if you try to insert same data again if you try to insert same data save or update what exactly it will do before doing insert operation first it will make select operation first it will select the data from your table using primary key triple one using primary key it will select your data internally what it will do save or update method first it will do select operation select star from student where id equal to triple one by using this triple one id it will select your record if it find a record in table if it find any record in table then what it need to do it need to do update operation so in case here if this abc and abc at gmail.com if this record and here this record if these are different then it will do update operation if this record and if this record both are same it will not do any update operation even it will not do any save operation just it will do select operation if this complete record if it matching with this complete record it will not do anything in case instead of abc at gmail.com here if you have abc at ymail.com abc at ymail.com if you pass here abc at ymail.com if you pass abc at ymail.com if you pass here it will check database whether this email id is matching with this email id or not it will check in case if it is not matching then it will update this email id here it will do update operation it will update your record it will update your record this ymail.com it will update here and in case if you pass one different id here if you pass one different id student id triple two if you pass in case the triple two record if it is not there in table it will do save operation it will try to do select using id triple two whether there is no triple two id record in table what it will do it will execute save operation okay if already record is there if if it required any modifications it will update if record if it is not there it will do save, save operation that's why this method will do save or update operations in case record found update operation in case if there is no record save operation so for doing insert operations there are three methods save persist save or update first it will do select operation right from the select operation it will get one object and here also we are giving one object right to this method that internal object and whatever the object input we are giving the two objects contained it will check if the two objects content if it is equal it will not do anything if that object content if it is not matching with this existing object then it will try to do modifications first it will do select operation right let's say if you have triple one record if you pass triple one id here first it will select a triple one record and internally it will prepare what one object also it will prepare in that object it will store id triple one name abc email abc at ymail.com at ymail.com and here we are passing one object with same content this object also having same content this student reference also having same content id equal to triple one name equal to abc email equal to abc at ymail.com if this content and if this content both are equal then what it will do it no need to update anything in database right in case if there is any changes in this content in your database if you have only at the rate gmail.com from here if you try to update at the rate ymail.com this first id is okay name is okay but email not matching so then what it will do this latest email id it will update on table in case if this record id itself if it is different id if id not matching if the remaining fields are matching also no use it will update complete record into table it will save here id is triple one here id is triple two if your primary key is id only here if the id is primary key here what it will do this record is different record then it will not compare with this existing object okay it will try to do select operation 
if we'll try to do select operation using id triple two whenever it try to do triple two select operation it will not get any object here if it not found any object this latest object it will update on table not updating it will insert it will insert that object in case record not found it will insert if record found with little bit changes it will update and how will comparison object comparison it will get data it is not collections right to use comparable and all this just it will compare this selected data object it will get from that object it will call getter methods get id get name get email in this object also we have data both it will get it will do comparisons using equals method yeah just i'll go through this basic save operations yeah basic crud operations in that crud operations insert operations basic insert operations create a project build path configure build path add hibernate library create beans create a student bean class here then in this bean class declare properties private int id generate all getters and setters then create one mapping file here resources create one mapping file student hbm dot xml file student hbm dot xml file in that mapping file try to map your student object to table student 007 and there we have properties id name email address only this four properties we have id name email and address and here arkil configuration file we have arkil driver connection properties url username password connection pool size and automatically table need to create org dot hyphen dot arkil dialect show sql sh show the sql queries and mapping file only one single mapping file we have finally write a client class here to test basic crud operations save client save method client okay using save method how to client how to use how to how to insert data using save method here create configuration class object configuration cfg equal to new configuration cfg dot configure of resources slash arkil dot cfg dot xml file then next session factory cfg dot build a session factory then open session session factory dot session the next transaction t equal to session dot begin transaction transaction type it should be hibernate transaction hibernate transaction okay then after create student object create student object student is equal to new student student dot set id student dot set email
finally call session dot save to move to persistent state we have to call our session reference dot save pass your student object then finally we need to commit transactions and close your session factory finally close your session data insertion success what exactly the save method will return it will return as primary key value in the form of serializable form serializable form primary key will return to us you can print that primary key here so table created automatically in the table data inserted automatically that inserted id is triple one when it is inserting data after printing primary key or before primary key insertion query executed after printing primary key id means primary key actually we printed where after save primary key printing here while printing primary key also it is not executing any query while calling transaction dot commit it is executing query here query will execute here data will execute here means it will execute your query from here itself when you call transaction dot commit okay then the same save operation you can do by using persist by using persist method also you can save it but from persist method you should not expect any return values persist will not return as anything session dot persist using this persist also now you can save data inserting into student table anyways data inserting here also and the basic difference between save and persist is return value basic difference is return value and within transaction boundaries save will work save will work without transaction boundaries whereas persist will work within transaction boundaries save can execute save can execute without transaction boundaries but whereas persist can execute within transaction boundaries then for doing save operation we have one more approach using save or update method using save or update how to save this record using save or update i'll make hbm to ddl option here update or validate then already we have one record right in database already we have one record with the triple one triple one abc abc at gmail.com we have already one record if i go through save method what happens if i have already record in table already i have record in table in student 007 table select a star from student 007 it have already record using triple one id that id is primary key right once again if i try to insert same id will it insert here we are getting unique constraint violated exceptions means whenever you try to insert same primary key it will give us unique constraint violation exceptions primary key is unique constraint right by default so when when once again you try to insert same id triple one 
you will get unique constraint exceptions. So in case if you don't know whether that record is there in database or not, if you go through same method, what happens? There is a chance to violate primary keys. So if you go through save or update, first the save or update will check whether that object is there in table or not. If it find object, it will not do anything. If it not find object, then it will try to update or it will try to insert. So if I go through save or update here, save or update will not return as anything. If you try to insert same ID also no use, I mean no issues, no issues here. If you try to insert same object also no issues, it will not return as any constraint violation errors. Just first it will do select operation. In that select operation what it will realize that existing object and this object both are same, so it should not update anything. But if you go through same method what happening? If it find already existing primary key, then it is throwing constraint violation exceptions but here we are not getting in case if it not find that object or else in that object if email id is different here my email id is abc at ymail.com in that existing record that email id is gmail.com so if i try to execute now it will do one select operation and it will do one update operation it will update your record with a new email id now see this email id from abc at gmail.com to update it to abc ymail.com so internally what it is doing save or update method doing update operation also here it is executing a update operation also here in case if this primary key id if it is not found in the object i mean in your database what it will do then it will do the save operation but before going to do the save operation, what it will do? It will check once again whether that object is there or, there or not. First it is doing select operation. After confirming whether object is not there, then it will do the insert operation. If update found, it will try to do update operation. If object, if it is equal to your object, it will not do anything. Okay. So in this way, save or update we can use. In case if there is a chance to update same records, if there is a chance to update same records, in that case you better to go through save, save or update. You better to go through save or update. Okay, anyways, it may lead to performance issues, but internally it will check, right? Instead of inserting duplicate record, it will check whether that record is there or not. In case record is there, then it will try to insert other record. Okay, instead of again updating same records. Then, if you want to do update operations, if you want to do any update operations here, update operations.